Now, the chairman of the IABC, Wafula Chibukati, and Acting Interior Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Fred Mityangi, uh, scheduled to meet a clergy and elders forum. They are discussing the preparedness for elections, and our reporter, Caroline B., is currently following up this particular story. She joins us live for an update. Caroline, has this particular meeting started? Well, thank you very much, Akisa. The meeting has started. Uh, it was a conference that started yesterday with the clergymen assembling to discuss the security uh, or the preparedness of uh, the forthcoming elections. And today they were able, they had a meeting with uh, one of the IBC commissioners, Ambassador Paul Kurugat, who was there to get questions uh, from the clergymen and also from the elders who are present in this meeting. And part of the discussion or the deliberations that they had is how secure is the, is, is, is the eighth poll? Uh, another issue also that came up was uh, what will be contained in the ballot paper, the security features that will be in that uh, ballot paper. And according to Kurgat, he says that the ballot paper is as secure as anyone can imagine. And, uh, and so far, it has security measures, seven of them, and only a few people uh, who are part of uh, the IBC team are able to have the content of, of, of that. And also concerning uh, the release of, of, of the polls, once uh, it is out, it has been been counted, uh, everyone will I mean the public will be able to access uh, the presidential results or announce or it will be announced uh, 20 hours after all after the counting has been done. Another thing is that in every polling station, only 700 people uh, will be able to vote, which will concur with uh, the identified people. There's also a special group of individuals, uh, let's say, whose fingerprints are, fingerprints are not, uh, cannot be identified by the equipment. These people, their names will be in a register, and uh, from there they will be able to vote, but not using the fingerprints. And these special people could include uh, tea plackers or coffee plackers, uh, people who work in construction sites, uh, people whose fingerprints have, have been destroyed over time. And right now I am joined by uh, Canon Peter Karanja, the Secretary General of the National Council of Churches in Kenya, just to give us an overview of their expectations and what uh, this discussion means for them. Well, thank you very much, sir, for finding time to speak to us. You can start by telling us what are your expectations now that you've met with, with one of the IBC commissioners? Well, just to say that we are very pleased to address the nation. Uh, NCCK and the All Africa Con Conference of Churches have jointly hosted this forum, bringing clergy and elders from 12 communities, the larger ones, taking into account um, the places where people are very aligned politically, uh, the hotspots where you normally find trouble. And the objective is to create an empowerment forum where a critical mass of people who have correct knowledge and information can be able to support their communities as we come to the elections and particularly for the period after. And one of the strategies we've taken is to bring a commission of IEBC to be able to address them about the level of preparedness and respond to the questions they have about how they can reassure themselves that the IBC is ready and the elections will be free, fair, peaceful and credible. We also this afternoon will have the CS, uh, acting CS in charge of internal security and national coordination coming to address them and also respond to the security concerns uh, that Kenyans have about how this whole process will be secured. The whole point is to ensure that a good number of people can say they have information that is not from heresy and glean from the media. They have engaged personalities that are significant in the electoral value chain towards a peaceful and fair elections. We shall process together when all these discussions are over today, what is it we are finding and what is a good commentary. And we shall close this meeting tomorrow, uh, just before lunch, with a press conference where they will communicate to the nation uh, the insights they have gleaned and put together. And uh, so far, with the deliberations that we've had with uh, Paul Kurgat, do you think that your voice as the clergy and also the elders who've attended this meeting, that your voice has been heard and are you going to be included in all the deliberations of uh, the elections? I think we must uh, commend IBC that has been a lot more open uh, than in the past and which has engaged consultatively with the religious leaders. So that those of as in the management and leadership of NCCK are pretty conversant. Our concern has been the conversation between IABC and the public is at a very elite level. 
And so this time we have brought people from the grassroots that wield influence to be able to engage them and ask the questions that they have. I was very impressed with the way Ambassador was able to respond to the questions he could handle at the meeting uh, very, very honestly and authentically. And he has carried a bunch of many, many questions that he has promised to give to the colleagues at IBC so that they can respond to them. And he will send back a sheet showing the responses to the specific questions that the leader said to ask so that they can carry home uh, confidence uh, that uh, their questions are addressed. Okay. Uh, having said that, we appreciate that it will take the efforts of agencies that have a legal role to play in ensuring we have a free and fair and credible and peaceful election, but it is the responsibility of all Kenyans to play their small role. And we think these 200 and a little more number of people gathered here are a critical mass who can exert an influence on the electoral process and maybe the outcome. Thank you very much. Uh, that is Kanon Karanja, the Secretary General of the National Council of Churches in Kenya, just giving us a brief of what exactly is going on here and uh, which will be uh, closing tomorrow. So we are expecting from that we are going to get deliberation and also conclusions from this meeting. And as we had, uh, as I had earlier on said from uh, the IEBC Commissioner, Paul Kurgat, who said that, uh, well, every polling station is going to have two security officers as well as people who've been accredited uh, to stay in every polling station. Well, Akisa, from me, we shall also be expecting uh, CS Matiangi in the afternoon, and I'll be here to ensure that uh, you get that coverage. Akisa? Definitely. Thank you very much for that. Caroline B., our reporter, joining us from Westlands. And as she says, even in the afternoon, once uh, the interior, acting interior CS uh, Fred Matiangi meets uh, the clergyman, she will be there to keep us up to date. But remember, we continue to keep our eye on the campaign.